Hey guys, Fried Egg here, and this is going to be a quick little guide for Dark Souls. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and modify the internal rendering resolution, uh, which should help the game look much, much better. So let's take a look here and see how to do it real fast. <clears throat> so first things first, I want to give a shout out to the, uh, my buddy Sh Shizno here, Mr. Shizno. This is his channel. He's the one that told me about this. And uh, I looked at his guide, and then um, I wanted to, you know, share with my audience. So I'm gonna. That's why I'm making a video now. So check him out. And then uh, the next thing I want you to check out is uh, this guy, Durante. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, both Mr. Shizno and Durant Durante here linked in my in the description. But uh, here's where you're gonna want to go. You're gonna go right to uh, this this uh, this post in this forum by Durante. He uh, he spent about a week of his time, maybe two weeks. Uh, I guess he knew this was gonna be an issue with the game the uh, internal rendering resolution was going to be on the low side so he wanted to to bump you know, bump it up to have have the game look better since it is a PC port and you know it should be able to look really nice so I'm not sure how these has his examples are going to look here um, for before and after this is the before and then this is the after um, if you're looking at the page yourself it's a very noticeable difference uh, I think so but anyways, the the, uh, the fix is super easy to do. I'm going to go over it real fast with you guys. First things first, you're going to click this, uh, go to the download site. Uh, he's got some more instructions here. Uh, download it, easy, simple, <clears throat> small little file. And next thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to have the, the download folder, uh, and you're going to have your Dark Souls uh, data folder. And uh, I'll show you guys uh, about that in a second. Uh, he tells you in the, in the post and I think at the download site, the first thing you need to do is uh, to read the README. So here's the README file. And he, he explains a little bit more of um, uh, you know, what, why he did it and you know, his, his, his thought process behind it. Uh, really, basically, uh, the main things you guys need to look for is this. Uh, I have it highlighted. Turn off the in-game anti-aliasing and the blur option. So easier set. It's very, very easy to do. Just if you go to the menu options and, and disable them once you... Uh, once you go ahead and and you know do the adjusting here with the file, so uh, he also goes goes and talks about that you can uh, here's the ini file. He talks about how you can uh, open this up and edit some values. So I have I already have it opened, and he has some preset uh, values here that you could that you could plug in. This is where you actually plug the values in, and uh, it's going to be default set to a 1920 by 1080. And I, I went ahead and tried this one because I, I do have a pretty good computer. And uh, the game work. The game is still running great, and it looks beautiful. I think a lot, a lot more beautiful than it did before, anyways. So he talks about some stuff to not do. He gets, you know, talks about some more techie stuff, which I'm not really all that good at. But I'm. It's very. The directions are very simple. Ready to do whatever you, uh, whatever values you do change. Make sure you come here to hit save, and you're done with that. And as far as how to actually do it, these files are not in your directory folder in the data file. Um, so all you have to do is highlight both of them and drop them in. That's it. That's all you got to do. Once you once you have the values adjusted, you can even adjust the values now. Once you're in here, whatever you want to do, you, can just, you click this and click go to open if you wanted to. You know, if you still want to do, uh, adjust the values. But um, yeah, I actually have both selected. Yeah, there it is. Um, all right, so that's pretty much done. Uh, let's launch the game. Okay, we're back in the game now, and here's what I want you to guys look for some things here. The way I know that it's working is I'll see some lines. As you can see, there's some lines around the uh, the text here. They're very, very noticeable here at this Havoc uh, little picture. Um, when, it, when, it's, when it's activated, that's I see those lines. Um, I don't see any other graphical errors anywhere else. Just there at the loading screen. And the only thing you need to do is the PC settings, and as in the directions, you turn these off and hit OK. And that's it. Um, like I said, the uh, the game it, it it works perfect. It looks good. Um, I'll run around for a minute just so you guys can see um, the before and afters. I think are really going to be noticeable from from the uh, the pictures I'm going to show you guys. So I mean, here's the game. There's going to be a rat in here. I'll go kill him real fast. Die rat. All right, I'll go go fight a couple more things so you guys can. If you guys have seen some gameplay, you know, maybe you, you can notice by looking at mine that it does look better. So we'll just, we'll go fight a couple more guys real fast. And uh, I really, hopefully the pictures I, I took will be good, a good, a uh, good example of, of how the graphics are improved, I hope. 
so all right so we killed those guys as you can see everything's looking nice nice and pretty prettier I mean you don't as you can see you don't see really many any jagged edges anywhere um, the character model he's very sharp he's not he's not nearly as sharp when you don't have this running with the uh, the internal render resolution and set as high as I have mine and I think the uh, the mod is uh, it's very good so uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the pictures and, uh, you know, I'll probably have some, you know, just listen to some music and stuff and just enjoy it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy this and, uh, definitely go check out, uh, Durante's post and his mod here for, uh, making the game look better. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> 